Welcome back to Life is Short, Make It Sweet. This is Simple Sunday Review Time. And today we're going to look at this. This is a banana slicer. It's a, as seen on TV. You can tell by the box that it is imported. I'm thinking, I know it says it was made in China, but I think it might have been made maybe for Germany. I can't really tell. Uh, but you'll notice that there's only two things on here that are written in English, and that is made uh, as for TV, as seen on TV, I'm sorry. And then you go around, you see these pictures, and down the bottom of this, it says made in China. And I have no idea what all these other things say. None of it is in English. Maybe they didn't think they'd sell it in America. But that is the box. Then it looks like this. Um, I will tell you that when I bought this, I bought it off of Amazon and they sold them in sets of two. There was a couple of places that I found it for, you could get just one, but the problem with that was, um, the cost for one was almost equal to the cost for two. So I thought, well, I might as well get two cause who knows one might break. <clears throat> so let's start with the review. Uh, let's start with the pros. <laughs> okay. So the pro is it is a banana slicer. You probably could use it also with something like strawberries, nothing hard like carrots or anything like that, because, uh, these are really, um, the middle part on here is not stainless steel and you can see how easy it gives. It's thin, but it's sharp. I don't think it would go through anything that thick. Uh, it does cut everything in uniform shape. So as you can see, that's the sizes. You can tell that one of these is kind of crooked here. Um, I bought this because I wanted to freeze dry some bananas and you're supposed to try to make them all the same size. And I thought, well, this would make it so much easier than me slicing them. I sliced six of them in here and the last banana, I noticed the mashed up banana part was starting to come up here. It was turning brown and these were very, these were good bananas. They weren't overripe. They were actually rather perfect. And so I was kind of surprised to see that happening. Um, the price wasn't too bad. It was, I believe, just slightly over $10 for the two. And with Amazon Prime, it was free shipping. So it really, the expense was good. All right, now let's go to the cons. First off, this is plastic and it's a cheap, cheap plastic. In fact, when you pick it up, you kind of feel like you might break it. Um, when I first used it the very first time, I went like this. I'm going to be careful. I went like this. And do you see the bottom, how it opens like that? Well, I had it like this. So it grabbed my skin when it closed and it pinched it. It hurt really bad. Uh, so that was a lesson I learned. The next lesson is they should have like a thumb guard here because if your thumb is here and you press, I'm going to move my thumb back out of the way. Those come up and can make contact with your thumb and cut you. So that's another dangerous aspect to these. I wouldn't let a kid use this. Kids are just, they're always in a hurry and they just want to go. And the next thing you know, you've got a kid screaming because they either got caught down here and see, look at this. Do you see how it got stuck? And uh, they could get their skin caught here or their fingers cut here. So I wouldn't let a child use this. The other negative that I found with it was when I went to wash it. I couldn't get the gook, the bananas, out of the middle. It had, they started to dry in there and I couldn't get it off. And even though I soaked it and everything, I still couldn't get it off. I tried scraping it with a, um, a knife not this particular one, I, the other one. I haven't used this one. This one just came out of the box. Um, but I tried scraping it with a knife. That didn't really work. I soaked it some more and then took this, um, it's called Brillo, but it's um, like, a, like a toothbrush, but thicker. And it, the parts went down in there and I tried to scrape it like that. It never really got as clean as I wanted it to. So the second time I used it, I immediately threw it into water after I used it. Again, I still had issues trying to really get it clean. So that's kind of a, a negative because I don't really want to spend a lot of time having to clean something that should be so simple. So 
I think that's my review of it. I would say, would I buy this again? No. Um, I would look for something similar, maybe better built, even if it might cost a little bit more because this is really dangerous. Also, this is not super smooth. It's got a little bit of an edge to it. So for the safety purposes and the cleaning purposes, I would look for something else. Um, so that's, that's my review. I don't know. You're not wasting your money in a sense if you have, have 10 bucks to spare and you're aware of these dangers, then you'll get some use out of it. Like I said, this one tends to stick a little bit where the other one, um, didn't. So maybe that's why, why they sell them in twos. Who knows? Anyway. Happy slicing, and I hope this review helps you decide if you want to get the As Seen on TV Banana Slicer. All right, have a great Sunday.